Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Long War 2. So, before we assault the regional HQ, let's wait for advanced laser weapons. We only got six days left on that. Might as well wait. Hopefully we'll get a mission or two before that's done. There we go, we got something. Operation Hammerhand. Okay then. Let's do it! We got six days and six hours. Let's see, grab one of our squads. Which one do we want? Doesn't really matter. We might want to add one person. Yeah, how about we grab these guys? Also, I'm using a new mod, which gives us two options. To make all items available and to make all upgrades available. That will save us so much time. So we are going to do exactly that. Yeah, remove all item upgrades. Let's have a look. Now we can give everyone proper weapons and proper upgrades. Remy already has his weapon. Steven also has a laser rifle. Then we got Michael. Shotgun. Yep, keep the shotgun. How about upgrades in it? What do we have available? Advanced expanded magazine, expanded magazine and four stocks. Okay. Let's just use her trigger, actually. Okay. Next. How about Scott? Let's check his weapon upgrades. Suppressor, stock and her trigger. That's fine. And Remy. Stock, suppressor, advanced laser sight. That's also fine. Advanced autoloader, scope and advanced suppressor. Alright, Zoe. Do we want a laser rifle instead of a bolt caster? I think I'll stick to the bolt caster. We could actually grab one more soldier. Let's see. One of the corporals, perhaps. Ambrosine Arch. We could also hire a rookie and add him to the squad. Although we only have one supply, which is not enough for a rookie. We do have one rookie available, but I got specific plans for him. Alright, let's just go like this. This is fine. Six people can handle this mission. This is an ambush on Advent Troop Column. Alright, let's go. So I think that mission will actually reduce Advent strength in the region. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it will do. We'll find out. Oh, Jeff Cook is available for recruitment. So that's a guy I recreated in XCOM 2. It's a guy from my original Long War campaign in XCOM 1. He was there for the first mission in the game, then he got almost killed in one of the early missions in the early game. And then he made it all the way to the end of the game, and he was part of the final squad. So I recreated him and a few others in XCOM 2, and added him to my character pool. Anyway, we finished advanced laser weapons. So next up, what do we want next? Advent Robotics, 4 days. Let's just do Officer Autopsy. Because we need to do that one way or the other. Might as well just get it out of the way. Alright. So yeah, we are still waiting. Let's keep scanning. Let's actually check the recruits. Here's Jeff. 60 aim, 6 defense, 4 health. Not amazing. But none of these guys are amazing. At least defense is okay-ish. I'll probably grab him later. Anyway, back to the bridge. Let's scan. Christian's training is done. So now we'll train Quincy and I think he's going to be a gunner. Gunner is one of the better classes in Long War 2. And a pretty important one. So, alright, he's going to be a gunner. One hundred, it won't go any higher than that. 
All right, fine by me. Let's go. That's actually the first mission of this kind in the campaign. Ambush enemy troops. Advent typically moves its forces in large groups, but we have located a smaller unit on its own that is vulnerable. A well-timed assault will damage Advent's interests in this region and afford us a rare opportunity to bring home enemy corpses for research. Alright then, so let's move. No timer. But baseline activity was light, I think. Which means we might see pods with up to six or even seven enemies. We need to be careful. We'll take our time since we are not on a timer. Okay, let's keep moving. Moving to designated position. Enemy patrol on the move. And here's the first group. Is that like one pod? Because that's massive. Well, like I said, light activity means pretty big pods at times. On the move. It's a perfect target for a rocket launcher. Did we actually bring a technical in this squad? We didn't. That's fine. Getting it done. We can always attack them with a regular grenade. Using someone. We do have a grenadier, right? Wait, who's a grenadier here? That's Zoe. Yeah, and she has heavy ordnance. Right, let's move a little bit closer. Did we just find yet another group? Yeah, this is two groups. Right next to each other. Might get interesting. Running. Okay, then. Looking forward to killing them all. One more person. That's Michael. That will do. Let's wait one turn. Will they move? Yeah, they are moving towards us. That's not a bad thing. We'll be able to reach them with a grenade. This is a lot of dudes. They got a rocketeer. That's a group of two. <laughs> and a group of like six in the front. Yeah, that's seven, eight enemies in one pod. Seriously? Okay. I mean, more targets for a rocket launcher or for a grenade launcher. Here, we can hit almost all of them. Yeah, we can hit six or seven even. All right, who's going to use Overwatch? Elam can use Overwatch. We should save a flashbang grenade in case we'll need one. Michael. Let's move into full cover instead. And Overwatch. We'll keep Steven. Because he's a ranger. And I think I'll keep Scott. Should we move away from that Viper? We'll trigger the Viper one way or the other. Yeah, we'll trigger the Viper no matter what we do. Actually, hold on, will we? Maybe not, actually, but I can't really move with Scott. He has to stay where he is, so whatever. Anyway, any more overwatches? Remy? I think I'd rather save him because he can throw the axe and then use melee or something like that. Alright, let's do this. We could also use the frost bomb. I think I prefer a grenade. This will do some really good damage. Yeah, let's use a grenade. Don't disappoint me. Thanks. Kill at least some of them with the grenade. Okay, we killed one or two. We killed some. And we got a promotion. Come on. So now we will trigger the Viper in the back. That's just an unfortunate side effect. Let's hope we'll kill at least one more with reaction shots. Yes, we will. Nice. Now, let's see, how many more can we kill? And we got yet another promotion. These turrets worry me a little bit, but hopefully we'll be fine. And here's the Viper. I don't like that weapon too much. Yeah, that's up to eight damage. Non-critical, that's pretty bad. This is a lot of enemies. 
Holy crap. Yeah, this is going to be dangerous. How should we do this? Good question. I have an interesting idea. Which involves using melee. But not yet. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Move in, then throw an axe at the gunner, and then use melee to kill the guy right next to us. The Rocketeer. Hopefully it will do enough damage. Yeah, it will. So, rip. Nice one. How many more can we kill? We got Scott. Might be a good idea to hack one of the turrets. Or the drone. Yeah, the turrets got a high ground bonus. And 65 base aim. I think I'd rather shut down one of the turrets. We could try to kill the drone. We could also try to kill the turrets. We actually have a better chance to kill the turrets than the drone. Let's take that shot, that's 90%. And we got it! Nice. One more shot. Yeah, I think we should just shoot the turret. And then we can maybe hug the drone. We got it! Nice. Okay. That leaves us with Scott. And that's it. That's our last move. Yeah, okay. Maybe we should just throw a flashbang grenade instead. Unfortunately, we can't flashbang more than maybe two enemies. And that's about it. Yeah, we can flashbang two enemies exactly. Like this. I'm not sure if it's really worth it. Maybe it is. What's our chance to take over the drone? 54%. We could try that. It's a little bit risky. But it might just work. Also, I wouldn't mind moving into slightly better cover than this. Because this is not good cover. Not in any way, shape or form. Wait, what's the hack on the left? Integrated comms. I have no idea what that is. Let's find out. Soldier gains squad sight for 8 turns. No, we don't need that. What if we throw a flashbang grenade from here? Could we flashbang the Viper? Yeah, I think we should actually flashbang the Viper because that's the most dangerous enemy right now. It can do up to 8 non-critical damage and it has 75 base aim. Let's flashbang the Viper and the Sectoid. At least that's guaranteed. There. That will do. We'll probably still take some damage. But hopefully no one will get killed. We got a few soldiers with pretty low health. Like 4 health on Zoe, that's kind of bad. Okay. The drone missed us, that's good. Here comes the trooper. The trooper will hit us. Probably. Or not. <laughs> he missed an 82% chance to hit shot. Sucks to be that guy. We didn't take a single point of damage yet. That's actually kind of amazing. Here comes the Viper, but he's disoriented. Okay, Sectoid. This one is not disoriented. So it might mind control someone. Disoriented, that's okay. And one last sectoid. We didn't take a single point of damage, that's amazing. Okay, first things first. Let's take two shots with Steven. 86% on the drone, yep. Let's go for it. Not quite enough. Reload. Okay, hold on. How about we throw a grenade with someone? Elam could do it and kill them both. Probably the best move we got with him. Okay, let's do that. There. 
that killed them both. Now, we got two sectoids, a viper, an engineer and sentry on overwatch. We need to get rid of that overwatch. Let's use shadowfall. Wait, what? It's not granted hit anymore. Seriously? Okay, never mind. I wasn't aware Shadowfall got nerfed. But apparently it did. What god is that anymore? It really isn't. Alright. That sucks. I guess we could throw a grenade. Can we reach that guy? No, not quite. We can't. So there's no granted way to remove the overwatch. That sucks a little bit. Flashbang. Well, I guess we could hit him with flashbang. That feels like a complete waste of a flashbang grenade. It really does. But we could disorient them both. Okay, I'll do it, but it feels like a bit of a waste. Still, I don't want to take damage from Overwatch. So that will do it. Now, I would like to pick up the lot, if possible. We could pick up the lot and then throw a grenade at the sentry. Or we could also use melee. We could use melee on the sectoid. The only problem with that is that the Viper might then attack Remy, which is not something we want. We could kill the Engineer like this. Not a bad idea. That will leave us in partial cover only, but better than no cover. I think it's better to just use a grenade to kill the Sentry. We got her trigger, alright. Technically, we could use melee on him, but no, it will be way too easy to flank Remy if we do that. It really sucks that Shadowfall is not a granted hit anymore. That's so disappointing. Alright, whatever. Throw a grenade to kill the sentry. Now. What about that Viper? We can't do much about it, to be honest. Absolutely. At least not on this turn. 45%. Let's shoot the Sectoid. There. Six damage. We might be able to kill it. Can we kill it? Not guaranteed. Can we try to stun the Viper? No. Yeah, 12%, 8%. This guy is disoriented, so I think it's best to just hunker down. Which leaves us with Michael, and that's basically it. Well, let's disorient the Sectoid then. Because I don't think I can kill it. So this will at least disorient it. Or it will stun it, that's also fine. Yep, it's stunned. Good job. So... Viper is not disoriented anymore. Oh, now they hit us. With 6% chance to hit, alright. I suppose that's fair because we didn't take any other damage. Here comes the Sectoid. He might try mind control or something. Or not. Reanimate. What do we do now? Let's see. Would be nice to kill the Sectoid. We can flank it. Let's maybe do that first. We could also throw a grenade from here. And maybe hit the Viper. Not sure about that. What's our chance to crit? 35%. Can anyone else throw a grenade? Not Elam, because he doesn't have any grenades left. Remy. I would like to pick up the load. What if we use melee? 
I thought I would maybe be able to reach the Viper, but no. So what do we do? I kind of want to pick up the load. Alright, let's just kill the engineer and pick up the load. What did we get? We got a suppressor. Alright, I'll take it. Now, what about that sectoid? I'm still considering the grenade. Not convinced that's the best option here. We do have run and gun, which means we could flag the sectoid. It won't be amazing chance to hit, because we won't be too close to it, so we'll get a penalty. But it should be decent, 49%. Okay, I'll take it, or we could throw a grenade with Michael, and then take a shot with our other guy. That's probably better, let's do that instead. Free damage, and now we can try to finish him off. Only free damage, great. Never mind. So, we still got Steven, Zoe, and Elam. But we cannot flank the sector anymore. Actually, yes, we can. This should be enough, I hope. Come on, Elam, kill the sectoid for me. Nice, it's down. We still got the Viper to deal with. But we got rid of the zombie and one of the sectoids. If only we could kill the other sectoid on this turn. We got 55% chance to hit from back here. Come on, Steven. Hit it once, even a graze would be fine. It's down, so just the Viper left which also happens to be the most dangerous enemy, but hey, we are down to just one enemy left. And I think that will finish the mission. It used poison, that's fine. I think Remy will be able to kill the Viper with melee. Yeah, we took damage instantly, which is a little bit annoying. First of all, we need to actually see the Viper. Let's have a look. We always got the Frost Bomb. So that's also an option. Yeah, we'll just kill it with melee. So off you go. That should finish the mission. I don't think there are any more enemies in here. That wasn't enough, yeah, because we grazed. Slightly annoying. I would prefer to keep the corpse, actually. So how about we don't use a grenade? Surely we can do one damage with someone. There, it's down. And we'll get all the corpses. Wait, we aren't actually done yet. Really? Yes, really. Okay. Fine. Let's just wait and find the remaining enemies. I was convinced we'll be done after that. Let's reload. And Overwatch. I assume the last group will show up sometime soon. We could move to the high ground. Might be a little bit hard to get line of sight from up there. Depending on where exactly the last group is going to be. Reload. And just hunker down until poison goes away. Alright. So where are they? Because clearly we are not done yet. Oh, this way. So they are in the other direction. Yep, here they come. Advent Gunner, Sidewinder. Yeah, these guys are annoying. Because they don't trigger Overwatch. Nope, not a good shot. Only three enemies, but relatively dangerous ones. We could kill the Stun Lancer with melee. That is a very tempting proposition. Let's do it. I hope I won't regret that. Down he goes. Now. Can we kill the Viper? We can flank it. But it's going to be a little bit dangerous. Who else can flank it? 
though he needs to reload. We could also freeze it. That might be a slightly better idea. In fact, that is definitely a better idea. But not yet. Michael. Sure we do have run and gun. Let's try to stun it like this. And we missed. That will still disorient it. Which might or might not be good enough. It only has 40 aim like this. It's probably good enough? Now, can we do anything to the gunner? Probably not. I don't think we can. It's a little bit too far away. We can kill the gunner with Remy on the next turn. That's probably what we'll do. Meanwhile, let's suppress the gunner. And we can still take a shot or two at the Viper, because why not? Except I can't flank it with Steven without leaving him in the open. Which would be a rather poor idea. Move to the left. And that's our turn, basically. The Viper might still hit someone, that's definitely possible. The gunner missed. Let's find out. It missed, good. Yeah, that was only 7% chance to hit. So now Remy will kill the gunner. And someone else will kill the viper. We still got the frost bomb. And this has to be the last enemy in the mission now. I can't imagine there are even more. What was that hack again? No, that's not useful. Not resources or anything like that. Any point using run and gun? Well, I guess we can do it. Do we have any regular grenades left? No. Alright, we'll just take a few shots. And if we fail to kill it, we'll use the frost bomb. There, that's a little bit better. Only 20%, but we'll take a shot anyway. I think we'll be using that frost bomb. It seems like it. Yeah, only 25% chance to hit. That's pretty bad. We did graze. One more hit would do it. Scott. We can't flank it, unfortunately. Come on, people. Just a graze will be enough. Nope. And that's that. I guess we'll just freeze it then, and kill it on the next turn. No point risking taking any damage. And it can do up to 7 non-critical damage, which would be enough to kill Zoe, for example. Alright. And who's going to get a kill? Let's just get another kill for Remy, to stack some nice experience on him. And we're done. You can't handle me. No, it definitely can't handle you. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Remy was the hammer hand of this mission, clearly. So, we got three promotions. Let's have a look. Arc Pulsar. Close and Personal. Close and Personal isn't terrible. But since I already picked up Electroshock, Arc Pulsar might make a little bit more sense. And it does some damage to mechanical enemies. Alright, let's take Arc Pulsar. Next up, we got Remy. Well deserved promotion. He's our second Staff Sergeant now, I think. So, Evasive, Shadow Strike, and Blade Storm. That's a really tough choice. Evasive is really good. 
So as much as I like Shadow Strike, I think we should pick up Evasive. That might save him at some point. It will definitely prevent damage multiple times in the future, so let's grab Evasive. And finally we got Elam, I will grab Hail of Bullets. In fact, I think I'll be going for Hail of Bullets on every single gunner now. I do like Shredder, but we can usually bring a lot of grenades. And granted damage with Hail of Bullets is just more valuable, especially from far away. Alright, what did we get? 24 supplies, some corpses, hair trigger suppressor, 8 alarium crystals. Alright, sounds good. And we unlocked some autopsies. Commander, if you come across Low on engineers. Yeah, thanks for the info. We got two engineers and two scientists. An We're also about to finish clearing like alien machinery. Use the help. Hey, Commander. How many supplies do we need for laser weapons? Let's see, laser lance is 25 supplies. Laser cannon is 25. Yeah, we'll need one laser cannon. Wait, how come we already have one? Interesting. I guess we'll need one laser lance too. And one scatter ray. We can decide that before the next mission, since we only got 25 supplies right now. It would be nice to get more supplies. Also, face-off training is almost done. And yes, advanced strength went down from 4 to 3 after that mission. And another mission. Let's see, 31 intel and we'll counter a dark event. 14 days, 0 hours. You know what we should do? We should change some of our resistance personnel from intel to supplies. We'll leave four of them on intel. Let's see, how many is that now? Yeah, most of them will be on supplies now. Five on supplies. Three on recruitment. And four on intel. Let's go with free on intel, free on recruitment, and everyone else on supplies, because we are going to need supplies. So that works. Alright, and we got the next mission. Maybe we should start that assault. I know this is going to be a lot of enemies. Let's have a look. What kind of squad could we bring? I'll have to create an entirely new one, I think. Or at least unassign some people from one of these. We need our best soldiers for this. So... How about we just remove all of these guys? Yeah, we need, like, an entirely new squad here, with all our best soldiers. So let's just remove everyone real quick, and create a new squad. This is going to be our A-team, let's say. Yeah, let's go with that. So Remy, Steven, that's Shinobi and Ranger. Let's see. Ansi is retraining. We can get Freddy, he's also a gunner. Then Lotharion will be the specialist. Flynn, Sharpshooter, Bonnie, Grenadier. We need 10 soldiers in here for the HQ assault mission. So who else? We could go with two Shinobis. Maybe with two Grenadiers. Arch. Okay, let's do that. Who else? What about an assault? Harry is currently lightly wounded. Second gunner might not be a bad idea. Michael is also wounded. Technical. That's how many? That's nine. So one more. 
We got two grenadiers, one gunner, and one of everything, basically. So I'm thinking second gunner or second ranger for the HQ assault specifically. Third grenadier seems like overkill, but we could pick up second gunner. That's not a bad idea. They both have hail of bullets, as far as I remember. So this squad, I'm pretty sure this will be enough for the HQ assault, if I give them all the best gear. And we have enough supplies to make one advanced laser weapon, like a cannon. I don't think we need all laser weapons for this. Probably not. We will have to wait for 200% infiltration, so that will take a little bit of time. So I think that's what we'll go with. I'll just have to give them proper gear. However, this is going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.